Are you under attack? What are you shooting at? Someone get in. What is this? Oh no, it's a random shack. He's pretty decent at fighting. Okay, here's the plan. Everyone, jump him. Ow. He has, he has pissed off the workers. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Shack, you got this. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. They're probably going to win no problem. That works for me. Let's go ahead and start getting people on these. I actually want my frontliners to not be on any crossbows. Or if I do have them on there, their job will be to come off of those crossbows once the soldiers from Mongrel start to get closer. I do have quite a few soldiers in this one. We actually have enough. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys then. People of the dead. I... That's right. Alright, I'm gonna have you guys. What are you guys shooting at? Aiming at something way over there? All right, sounds good, I guess. I need these guys. What What are you guys shooting at? <laughs> what? All right, sounds good. Get up! I mean, you know, don't mind us accidentally shooting ourselves. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> let's, let's, let's try to... Pull this guy a little bit over here, shall we? So hopefully we stop shooting each other by accident. Ah, good. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> you idiots. Let's medic real quick. Okay, nobody else is hurt. That's good. All right, let's go over here and get some people's attention. Ooh, there aren't a whole lot of soldiers left, are there? Yeah, and they have about the same amount of fighting skills as the gate guards, which does not bode well for them. Oh, this guy's a ranged guy, huh? No worries. Let's have them run over here. Chase me. See what happens. What is this random fog man doing? Get on there. Did he, he... He did not follow us. Oh well, that's fine. Just go jump him. This is what happens to lone cross filmmen. Drop! No brawling! Drop your weapon! Uh. Oh. <laughs> Get him! So we're actually starting to see a problem with Kinchi's combat system, which is he was attacking one of these guys and hit him. Ah, oh, excellent. Let's go pull some more friends, shall we? Hey, 
Hey guys. How's it going? It's your boy Fogman. <laughs> okay, a bunch of them are coming now. Let's run over here. Re indeed. As these fools come rushing after us. Oh yes, open fire. Get that sweet, sweet alpha strike. Attack them normally. Nice. <laughs> Seventy one damage resistant. Nice. Alright, everyone, gather up. Wait, is there somebody over here shooting at us? Is he up here? No. There's somebody aggroing our people, though. Who is he attacking? Ah! Oh, Ted, get him! I do like some of the some of the new animations. Those are nice. But I think I do need to start splitting these guys up a little bit <clears throat> to have like the front line and then the uh and then like the archers. So I can you know, or I could just do this and be like Is there somebody in there? No? Cool. Let's have you all come over here. Shoot him! Click, click, bang, bang! <laughs> and he's down. Nice. So there is that. That is the useful part. So we've kind of taken the front of Mongrel, which is nice. Most people just have little bits of chip damage on them, not a big problem. Most of the damage that they are going to take is going to be to their exposed robotic arms. That's about it. He's like, man, you should have seen the other guys. Alright, where are the other ones? So... You have these gate guards here. So with Mongrel, the place is kind of doomed to fail in a lot of ways. Normally, just playing the game, Mongrel will fail, will fall eventually. It's, yeah, it, it will, it will fall eventually. And part of what makes that so dangerous, uh, part of the reason for that is... The gate guards respawn, but the non-gate guards do not respawn. So every time a merchant or one of these civilians dies, they pretty much just stay dead. If these guys die, they respawn after a short amount of time. Okay, so... Let's go on down here, Fen. Let's start a fight, shall we? There are quite a few of them out here, aren't there? That was weird. I don't understand why so many of them are running out here. 
Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Um, Fen, let's go pick a fight. There are a lot of them. But we can force fire. Actually gonna have Fen shoot at this guy to pull the guards. Then we're going to do a little bit of a strategic withdrawal. And then jump them. <laughs> Go on, boys! <laughs> Alright, the alarm is raised. That's fine. Take him out. He's nice and exposed. Yeah, pump him full of bolts. Nice. This guy is going after our dudes. No worries. Oh no, that Falk Prince that we recruited just passed out. No worries. He's new. Oh, look at that shack. He's rather large. And down he goes. Spray Torian is fighting that guy, no worries. Showed up at his point blank of range as possible. Oh no, people are on the turrets now. That's not good. Those could actually be dangerous to us, because those are harpoon turrets. Those can actually kill people pretty easily. But once we break their line here, we will, in essence, be able to start getting rid of Mongrel. Alright, good. They seem to have redirected. Very nice. Yeah, being able to just bring all of this to bear against a single target at once is just so powerful. Because it really does mean that we can kind of just point at somebody and they die. Rangers, I'll shoot him. We are getting quite a few people out here. We are getting a lot more than we want to be fighting. So I think it is time for us to withdraw for now. No, 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 don't run through, Mongrel. <laughs> Go the other way. <laughs> All right, so he's unconscious. That's fine. This fog man is now conscious. Excellent. Ah. That's fine, though. We just need a bunch of these guys to de aggro, and then we can continue to start wiping them out. As soon as, like, there aren't a whole lot of reinforcements coming to help them, we should be able to kill them. We should be able to kill all the ones that are pursuing us. Let's see. Do we have anybody who's dying right now? It doesn't really look like it. He is very unconscious. <laughs> I think we have, by and large, well, most of them are still on the way. Gonna have these guys run back over to us. Oh, 
We may lose some people, but this is going to be a huge deal. If this guy can, like, just get out of the way a little bit, that would be great. If you hold shift and give them a move order, if they are in combat, they will try to obey that command, but at the same time... Yeah, shoot him, guys. <laughs> Just pump him full of love. Excellent. My frontliners are doing a decent job of of dealing a bunch of damage to these guys. There has been a ton of people who have essentially joined the fight. Which is fine. Shoot him! Focus fire on that. Well. Wow. Patrol? Focus fire on him. Okay, good. Focus fire on him instead. Now, the good part about this is that as these people are dying from arrows, what is going to start happening is that they are going to bleed out and just die. It does look like we got a bunch of, of people from Mongrel going after us. Some of our dudes are getting rather injured, and as a result of that, they're having to... <laughs> he can't do anything. His arm is just so messed up. But I think we're also getting some of the, like, more elite guards. Like, his attack is 80. His toughness is probably through the roof. 74, yeah. His is pretty high as well. It really just means that we need to focus fire them down. We need to let those fogmen do their thing while we shoot a lot of these guys to death. Excellent. Have that clear line of sight. Excellent. Oh man, there are so many of them. Are they reinforcing still? Oh no. People are going back there and keep starting more fights. I mean, in a lot of ways, this is useful to us, but I also don't want to lose a bunch of people at the same time. Shoot him! And I have a feeling that people are going to start dying relatively soon-ish. This guy is coming after us, so let's just shoot him. Excellent. <clears throat> it does look like we are starting to make some headway. So that's good. Alright, and it looks like our tanks are starting to go down. That could be a pretty big problem for us. He has redirected, that's good. We're basically just kiting these guys to death in a lot of ways. 
would be nice if we had a fog patrol come through, though. Let's focus fire hit him. Cool. These guys are using katanas, which are, they do cut damage. Cut damage is notoriously bad against armor. So we're able to really not take a whole lot of damage while still being able to take out, take a ton of hits. The closer we are to them, actually the easier it is to hit them. Go figure. Excellent. Thing is, once this battle is over, Mongrel's probably kind of screwed. Because we have, in effect, just wiped out a ton of their population. have a lot more HP, but yeah, they have about 25 more HP than humans do. They also tend to have more armor. Do we have any bleed? Do we have any dying yet? Yes, we do. We have one dying. That's him. Where is he? Yeah, he's over there. Not too bad. Let's go first aid him real quick. And boom, he's probably not dying anymore. Excellent. But all of these guys are still dying. Excellent. He's down. <laughs> these guys just look like pin cushions. It's great. He's down. Next is you. Just keep firing. What are you guys shooting at over here? Somebody managed to get back up. Jeez. This guy's a Giga Jet over here. <laughs> that been a bit that went about as well as you would expect. <laughs> okay, we have done quite a bit of work. Oh man, there's still so many over there. I don't think we can take that many though. Everyone who is still awake, who is still conscious, we just need to run so that we can recover. So that we can first aid ourselves. Man, a lot of us are coming out here. Alright. Someone made the mistake of actually following us. <laughs> Alright, come on everyone. Over here. Alright, there are a handful of these guys coming after us, but uh, while well, they're probably going to get shot to death before they can do much of anything. Ah, yes. 
Excellent work, everyone. My rangers. Come over here so you can get a better vantage point. Open fire. Oh no, heavy! <laughs> You know, that guy actually has pretty good arm. Oh, he's got a fog mask on, doesn't he? Yep, that's what it is. This has like insane uh, harpoon resistance to the head. That's literally what was happening there. Shoot him! Oh no! Nice, we got him. Three. Three indeed. Shoot him in the back. Excellent work. Alright, everyone. And nobody... Well, there's still a, a handful of people in combat. Okay. Here's the question. Can we take this out? <laughs> I am not so sure about that. Not without pulling the not without pulling logistics and smiths. How injured are all these guys? Not very, not very. These guys are all mostly fresh. Yeah, we do not want to fight this. A lot of them are heavily injured, but at the same time, hello Foxif. But at the same time, we kind of need to get our people and escape. There are just so many of them. We have cleared out. <laughs> Holy crap! We have cleared out most of most of the defenses of Mongrel. Pretty much the entirety of Mongrel has come after us. Uh, we are playing Fogmen actually. Um, let's see. So there is this over here. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to go over this fog yard and train them all that way. That's what I think we're going to do. Alright, focus fire this guy down. Excellent. Very nice. Oh, he's already dead. Cool. Did we blow his arm off? We did. Fantastic, I love it. Shoot him! Oh no, fuck <laughs> man. We could potentially wipe out this big group of people from Mongrel. It's just our dudes are not fresh anymore. They are. If these guys keep coming in piecemeal, then yeah, we could potentially do it. But at the same time. It's also a scenario where we are not fresh and they are very fresh. I mean, granted, we can focus fire and take them out quickly, but at the same time. Okay, someone is super jacked up. Turn on their jobs again. Maybe that will help a little bit. They're just healing themselves up and... Wait, are these guys leaving? Oh, goody. I want you guys to try and leave. So this Fog Heavy is probably unconscious now. That's good. 
you're unconscious, you're unconscious, but specifically not dying. That's the good part. All right, you go ahead and pick him up and make your way back to us. Okay, let's heal up. We've taken out a lot of Bongrel's defenses. <laughs> We're also going and picking up our own people. That's good. Jump him. We don't actually want them getting back up. What are you doing? Snatching? Find and rescue? That works. We want to go and get these three people, but at the same time, we are very weak. But who knows? We might be able to win. Yeah, that's everybody who was chasing us. That Praetorian can probably do some rescue. Crippled arm, normal. Alright, you guys, go grab them. Knock it off. Drop your weapon. No way, you. And... Did we get everyone? No. More people are unconscious. <laughs> Alright, well this guy is coming out. Wait. That is a fog brilliance. Wanna join the you wanna join the team? Wanna join? You want welcome to the team. Fantastic. Your job is to medic and rescue and then bodyguard fog fan. Excellent. Re indeed. Right, what are you doing? Protecting allies. People getting up. Yeah, there's just so many of them. Um, we can probably have Fen like go and snatch people and bring them out. It's just it's uh, going to be rather difficult to to be successful here. Um, the Praetorian can probably go and grab people. His arms are in decent ca decent state. You put people down. I'm going to have you run over there and start grabbing. As these guys are kind of done swarming. What are you doing? Find and rescue. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Praetorian, ignore. Go grab. Okay, well, we have a handful of people coming out of us. That's good. Get them. Okay, back here we have our archers. Very nice. Move up a little bit. And focus fire this guy. Okay. 
Alright, nice. We do not want to deal with that entire swarm. That would be a bad day. So we want to continue backing off. And if possible, we actually want to start sneaking. Maybe they will lose track of us. This will make it so that it, when any of our fogmen get up, they will immediately start sneaking instead and maybe not be targeted immediately. Okay, I don't see any dying, which is good. Sneak. Get him. Go back to sneak. Excellent. Get him. He wants to fight, we will give him fight. Oh yeah, ranged combat is really powerful in this game. It's not ultra overpowered in like the in normal gameplay, simply because you're limited to only 30 people, but being able to focus fire like 30 people all at once on a single target is really powerful. Because, like, I can have 30 people attack this one guy. I can have 30 people attack this other guy. Okay, cool. Him next. All the other people tank for us. Yeah, so, like, they're able to, we're, we're able to very efficiently take them down. Now you'll see us shooting each other by accident, and so with precision shooting you actually mitigate your ability to hit your own allies. In essence, with precision shooting it will make it so the bolt just passes through an ally's body, and then you don't have to worry about it. But uh, we're, our dudes are kind of gassed at the moment. We have... Have we have we almost wiped out <laughs> all of Mongols' defenders? Jeez. Like, all we need is for a couple of fog raids to come through. And that'll take this place out pretty easily. Now, there's still a bunch... Still quite a bit, but I think that's everyone for the most part. All right, go and rescue people. And then let's try to withdraw. Because again, we don't want to fight all of this, but it's okay. Yeah, so I would love for this game to have something like Beyond All Reason, where you could set them up in a line. But the reality is, is that they aren't going to do that because the the focus of the game wasn't to use ranged combat. Get up. The focus of the game was really around the idea of you have a bunch of people and they're just in a big melee. Think, uh, think old Japanese, like katana, punk, styled 
movies and stuff like that. Like, that's really what he was going for. Like, to the point where the game is referred to as Katana Punk. So, we are playing in a way that is unintentionally overpowered. Yeah, that that's the whole thing. Like, you can just pause time and and do that. It's just it might not actually be to your benefit. I mean, it will be to your benefit, it's just it will take forever. I guess is, a, is what I'm trying to say here. Also, fun fact, crossbow bolts move at like 200 miles an hour. <laughs> oh no, they're all coming after us. So we need to continue to withdraw. Yeah, that's, that's really one of the things. It's like opti being optimal versus being good enough. This guy's being a problem. And so this battle has been going for quite a while. Um, we've killed a lot of people from Mongrel. We killed a lot of them over there and a lot of them over here. So, yes, it is for a lot of different reasons. Uh, the reason we are going predominantly ranged here is because Fogmen are made of paper. <laughs> so if we look at our workers... Like, they don't have much in the way of this green health. And so, if he takes 100 damage to the stomach, he just dies. And so, a lot of melee, basically with Fogman, I'm, I'm having to go and do massed ranged just out of necessity so we can win fights. But otherwise, you would really want to use a lot of melee so like the if you're just planning on getting into the game for example you can do things like let's kill him you can do things like just having a lot of heavy armor and but like for reference here we got shot for this Fog Heavy got shot for around 71 damage, but his armor blocked 68 of it. <laughs> and this guy doesn't have good armor, so he, you know, the, he got shot in the head here with probably his helmet, so that blocked a bunch of it, but then he got shot in other places and it barely blocked anything, which is why this is so powerful. But against people who are not using crappy armor, like our crossbows wouldn't be able to do much. If we fought people who were, in effect, using a similar build to ourselves, we would be in trouble. But, because Mongrel doesn't do that, we're able to win very easily. We're also using high-end, like, crossbows and stuff. This game? We're on day 213. I think this is, like, part... We're near, like, part 30 on, uh, on YouTube. For this season. Uh, keep in mind... I'm just gonna quick save real quick. Just in case the game crashes. Like, this is our actual base. <laughs> so, with the Fogmen, because they're made of paper, we really had to just kind of turtle down for a while. So that we could actually win. We could actually build up the gear that we needed to, to prevent men from just dying. Yeah, it's been playing for a very long time. Uh, there is one that I did, which I called Sheck World Domination. It's on YouTube. 
at uh, Fenmore. And that one is we play as Shek heavies and we use fragment axes and the game is kind of just trivial. Uh, mainly because blunt damage is super powerful. So if you're going to check out the game, then keep in mind that blunt damage is what you really want to focus on as much as possible. Um, with cut damage kind of being a... <laughs> this guy's arms are broken. He is uh, not a threat anymore. <laughs> but there can be no witnesses. I guess there can be witnesses. All right. How goes the fight over here? All right, focus fire him. Excellent work, everyone. Him next. All right, he stood up. Okay, there's somebody in our line. Ah, there you are. <laughs> so if you have people run uh, while they are stealth and their stealth is high enough, they will do like a Naruto run. I usually refer to it as them fighting dreamering, fighting dreamersing around. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, the person with no <laughs> The person with no cover whatsoever. Get him! Actually this guy wants to go into melee, so let's shoot him instead. This ends now! Oh! <laughs> You're right, this does end now. Excellent work, everyone. Okay, what I want is for no one to die. On my team, at least. Man, we have wiped out so many of these guys. Holy crap. Take him down, everyone. We're gonna have reinforcements coming in, most likely. There are the reinforcements. Yeah, if I can flank them with our archers, then we can just very quickly kill them all. Got some good armor in places. He's got some really nice armor in places. What is he? He's just another Shinobi guard? I think he's a higher end one. But. We don't necessarily want him anywhere near our archers. He can go down if it's one of those guys. Another vlogman, join us. Yeah, focus fire that guy instead. That should be fun. Cool, take him out next. 
Alright, cool. We are starting to take them down. They're starting to run out of reinforcements to throw at us. Kill him before he gets to us. <laughs> we are accidentally friendly firing ourselves as well. Okay, he's down. That's good. Focus fire him. I'm not too worried about their archers. But I think this is the end by and large of a lot of their reinforcements, I think. Okay, he's down. Fantastic. Everyone that they lose is kind of in is kind of really valuable to them. Like, we don't want to take a whole lot of losses, but at the same time, our setup allows us to bring a lot of damage to the front very quickly. Another one of them in our archers. This guy's coming after our archers, so we're going to focus fire on him. Take him out next. Fantastic. A lot of the strength that we have with our archers is that when we do shoot people down, they tend to stay down because of blood loss. is taking a decent amount of damage, that's good. Okay, his arm got jacked up, that's fine. Praetorian hasn't gone down yet. Once he does, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, this is somewhat of an exploitative way to play the game as well. a whole lot of enemy reinforcements coming in now. So this might be about the end of their reinforcements. There's like a handful coming in 
But, oh man, most of that, yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> I think we have taken out m the majority of Mongrel at this point in one battle. One rolling battle. Mostly from us being able to focus fire on people. Yeah, it is. Like, this is... Normally battles aren't going to last this long, but this one has been going pretty well. Our dudes are super gassed, though. Yeah. No, no, Praetorian. We don't need to go fight all of them. But we do want to take them out as they wake back up. He got knocked out from stomach damage. I mean, our dudes are getting up. Is anybody dying right now? Let's see. I'm specifically looking right here. Is anyone considered to be dying at the moment? No, actually. We have some people in recovery comas, but for the most part, we're all right. Yeah, I think we have actually won this fight against Mongrel and taken out the majority of their troops. They haven't captured any of us either, which is really nice. I mean, granted, we are, you know, shooting our own people every now and again. That's kind of just part of the course for for this kind of rolling battle, and especially using a lot of ranged. What we want is to kind of hang out in one location. These guys are super gung-ho about running over there and attacking those gate guards. Which we... I mean, we could potentially take them out. Thing is, I would much rather we... No, Fogman! I would much rather we... Now, we lost one. They've lost a bunch. And that is specifically what we don't want, is for people to start dying. Okay, so they are now medicking, which is good. I think I need to set them to passive real quick, so that they will actually medic and rescue real quick. Let's turn them off of passive. sniper nest here. As long as they don't run up here and start fighting these guys.